Hello then guys and welcome to another episode of the Greenway Farm Let's Play. So, um, today as I said before, we're going to draw in the bales um, that we bailed in the last episode. Oh, and the contractors are out to uh, cultivating up their land and uh, drilling it as well. I don't know, probably, they, I know they're cultivating anyway. Can we get past there? We'll pull in the gateway. Not quite sure where they're going, but uh, somewhere around anyway. Need to get them into uh, drill our um, our crop as well in there. Um, our in field eighteen, our arable field, ready for next season. We'll uh, have to look at what we crop we're going to put in there. So I think we'll start in field one. I think makes sense. We are um, we're currently on Saturday. Um, dry weather and sort of tomorrow. And I know the contractors want to get this um, field uh, drilled uh, sort of tomorrow ready. So that's why we're on clearing away as fast as we can. These two. Uh, see if we can do them two at a time. It doesn't always work with this fork. No. Um, not at all. In fact, I will have to take it one at a time. Sometimes easy to load it one at a time anyway. So this is obviously the same rig we used for moving the hay, um, and just I used I usually just keep the loader on this tractor. I can put it on the uh, John Deere, um, but there's no real need to. I'll uh, just grab this one. So I, as I said before, I uh, cleared out the space ready for these bales um, before the harvest. Um, so we can just put them on the other side of the shed with the um, hay. It's of course the silage pit, um, should we want ever want it. But uh, we're doing bales as we've got our own combi baler. We may look to do some... Um, maize possibly when we're uh, further along yeah, sorry I'm not talking too much I uh, just concentrate on getting the bales on probably do is uh, fill this trail up um, fully and then uh, in probably cut for a bit and then uh, come back so when we're stacking the next load or something like that um, just as a bit of a jump cut because I probably won't well I won't do all the bales on camera I'll uh, get some done uh, off camera. This bale trailer, uh, from my experience, doesn't work um, brilliantly for square bales because uh, it's slightly too long, really, for three lengths of bales. But uh, it does work very well um, for the round bales, um, as we saw in episode one doing the hay, um, which is nice and handy. Uh, as we are doing ground bales. <laughs> I'll try it with the two. There's a bit of a space between them, so I'm not quite sure how well it'll work. 
this is where it would be handy to have someone else uh, shifting the trailer around the field for you, but uh, I don't really, it's not necessary. As it is a small trailer, we can easily come back and forth for it. No, I'm going to have to put them closer together. Let's go and push the other bales off. We'll just put them on one at a time, will probably be the easiest way of doing that. there so oh let's cut the backboard hopefully you went wrong there we go This bale fork can be quite temperamental getting to, to be honest. So maybe we are just better not quitting our losses and uh, just doing them individually. Take these two and then uh, three more across the top and probably one on the tines. I haven't quite got it. No. Don't want to play ball. Come on. There we go. Is uh, a relatively slow way of doing it. It would be much quicker with an auto stack, but uh, I find uh, it's quite fun to do it nice and realistically um, as you can. But uh, obviously, it does take longer. I don't really know why, but. Uh, Certainly in previous Let's Plays, the stacking has been quite popular, whether, whether there's less uh, stacking that goes on in Let's Plays or what, I don't know, but it did seem to be for whatever reason. Anyway, get this one on here and then we can grab three for the top. Off we go. There we go. Not quite perfectly lined up. Close enough. Should be fair. Should be enough for our um, our winter. Um, don't know whether we'll end up having these um, the straw of these three fields again next year as we do in our own field as well um, but uh, we'll have to see because obviously we'll probably end up with more um, livestock by then so yeah ok I was expecting them to roll down into the dips the annoying thing with FS bales, eh? when you want them to roll, they don't roll, and when you want them to, and uh, when you don't want them to roll, they roll. There we go. Not quite in the centre, but close enough. Grab two more, and then leave one on the tines. Mm. 
not ideal to be going down the road with uh, the on the times, that's why I'm only taking the one. Okay, apparently they want to come separately, so I won't. So what I'll do um, is I'll uh, grab these bales and stick them in the start stack off, and then uh, next load when I'm stacking, I'll uh, grab some film of that. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, welcome back then, guys. So uh, just unloaded those bales there. Um, looks like this is the field that the uh, contractors were. Uh, or still are cultivating over the fire in there. So, uh, yeah. Not quite sure I'm going to take it that drilling to put uh, winter crops in there. Not quite sure. Uh, sorry, cultivating to ready to drill. But, uh, not really too much of a problem for me. So yeah, we'll go along for the second load uh, just now. Um, I think I'll probably uh, maybe time lapse just uh, filling this trailer up and uh, bringing it back down to the yard and then uh, we'll come back for actually stacking them. And then maybe do a few more bits of time lapse um, for the end. And uh, get around here. Yep, nice. Right. Okay, then, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Grab that with the wrong side of the time. Thinking about it, and it would roll. This is like I was saying earlier, with they never roll when you want them to, but they always do when you don't. It's 
right. Grab some more. Probably best start at uh, this end. There we go. Be better. Not quite square, but hopefully it should be alright. Good job I made it square then I think because it can the slightest thing can mess up the bail stack so if anyone's wondering why I got the lights on in the daytime it's just because uh, in the back of the sheds it can be dark um, for stacking you won't see as much as you can try to avoid doing that to be honest because it uh, can cause problems later down the line but hopefully it'll be alright for some reason. And last one and then we'll go onto the next layer and then the layer above. Put the first top layer in. Probably as I did with the hay, probably only go three high. There's never really any need to go any higher because if you go in any higher you don't tend not to be able to uh, go very long uh, yeah very long because you can't put too many in one stack Sorry, I'm not talking enough really. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, think what we'll User do your channel. is just put a um, put one on the end. I think before we go any further, just on the off chance that this side's to slip. And uh, yeah, I'll just position it in. I'll just do that because it's slightly more easy to uh, get it more accurate if you do that. Alright, we'll just carry on with the second layer. The only trouble with putting the um, bears along that side is that they are longer in um, diameter than they are in width. So as you can see they stick over the end and then when you come to put the next one on they can uh, push on that end piece there. So, 
but uh, he never gives you really gives you too much trouble. So. It's always one. Well. Can, it does take a while to stack by us, so um, I think what we'll do there so is we'll just finish off this trailer load and then uh, we'll come back at the end, probably the best bet. Um, just because it takes so long and I'm not really talking much, um, which isn't ideal. Down. There we go. We're just gonna have one left on the that first row. But now I'm done. That's where it takes them individually, so probably got less than a trailer load left in that uh, next field. Well I'm fairly certain we have. So we'll probably have to move on to 15, uh, sorry not 15, uh, 5 and uh, and then just to fill the trailer. So maybe there's not going to be so many bales as I thought. Um, it seemed more when I was um, bailing them. So. But uh, then again, five is uh, the biggest out of the three, so. side of the time over there so that uh, I can get close to the wall. So, uh, you know what, I'll, uh, as it doesn't take long, I'll just take a trip along the road and uh, we can see how the uh, contracts are getting on with their uh, cultivating, uh, although I think they've finished field 15, I'm not quite sure where they went to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Obviously cultivating their land. Um, I doubt we're going to have much involvement with them unless they ask us to say fertilise them or whatever. Um, looks like they've moved on to this field. Whether they've done it or not, I don't know. on that field, I don't know where they went then. Mm. 
anyway guys I'll uh, come back at uh, the end when they're all stacked so and uh, yeah right guys uh, sorry to go back on my word but uh, I just emptied that field and noticed that uh, the contracts are in uh, cultivating this field here uh, so I guess they must be fairly desperate Good job we cleared that one first. Don't think we're going to make that, no. no point going to the next field now uh, I expected that uh, there'd be more um, bales left to fit on the trailer so anyway I'll uh, be back in a bit hello then guys and uh, welcome back uh, to the end sort of the last sort of sum up bit uh, so yeah as you can see I uh, got all the bales uh, stacked in there not too badly really uh, just that's where it landed so that's where it fell um, I did actually imagine this the haystack would, you know, uh, mess up a bit more when it started to go like that, but it seems to be alright, so that's uh, all good news really. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, there's a few gaps, but it doesn't really bother me. As long as it goes in the stack, that's what counts. Uh, so yeah then, um, all that's left to say is uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye.